smoked salmon and scrambled egg. Oh, Nick, that's a lovely thought, but you needn't have gone to all this trouble. If I didn't burn the kitchen down, so I'm not mm. completely useless. Mm, look at this. Mmm. Borderline edible and all, I call that a result. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's really good to be home. It's good to have you here. Of course, now I'll be expecting a Mitchell and Star banquet for tea, though. <laughs> what do you think the accidents can be superpowers or something? <laughs> Uh, look, I better go somewhere I've got to be. Hey, well, where are you off? I'm going to see the therapist. Great. Oh, lovely. Mm. Happy birthday to you. You live in a zoo. Ah. You look like a monkey and you smell like one too. Oh, charming. Oh, thank you. Oh, no. Oh, so much has oh. made my day. Oh. But she's a jolly good fella. All good right, day. son, don't milk it. You've uh, already perforated me eardrums. Uh, Come on. Uh, oh, bought you that with my own money. Well, thank you, I am honoured. Less money to spend on sweets. It's a miracle you've still got a tooth in your head. Mm. Let's see what we've got here. What is it? Oh, <laughs> keep calm and... Kill zombies. That's good advice, that, Simon. Thank you. I'll bear that in mind. That's a nice detail, that, love. Yeah. Mm. That's for when you're performing your wifey duties for me. I'm sure you'll put it to good use. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <gasps> Peter, they're absolutely gorgeous. Just like you. Cheesy. I know, but you love it, though, don't you? Uh huh. That's the real deal, you know? Oh, I know. You shouldn't have spent so much. But I'm so glad you did. I love you. You know that, don't you? I know. Mm. I got up to go to the loo the other night. I heard her sobbing her heart out. Well, I mean, anybody else, you'd go in, wouldn't you? Give them a hug. I've tried and I've tried. I cannot get through to her. I don't know what to suggest, Gail. She's completely let herself go. I mean, she could put her makeup on with a trowel and she wouldn't hide those dark circles under it. See? Not the same. Under normal circumstances, she'd have wiped the floor with me. So, how are you today, love? Fine. Kids are at Deb's. Right. They'll need picking up in a minute. Why don't you go and get them, eh? Dress like this. Give the neighbours something else to talk about. People are worried about you, sweetheart. You don't have to act all tough, you know. It's all right to be sad. There's no shame in that. OK, I was gutted, yeah. I'm over it now. I'm trying to move on and you won't let me. With your gassing and your looks to each other all the time. Just leave me be. Every time I sit here, I start to itch. Can't work out if it's psychosomatic or infested with fleas. How very dare you. If you don't like it, shift your backside and let me sit down. Hey, I thought you were working in the Rovers today. On an errand. Uh, and it's not fleas. Because any self-respecting flea will have bogged off to warmer climbs. <laughs> well, listen, here you go. Top tips to banish the January blues. Ooh. At work, make your workstation neat and tidy. This will make you feel more in control. Wow, that worked wonders. What else you got? For women of a certain age, <clears throat> tuck your hair behind your ears. This will take 10 years off you. What do you reckon? Horrific. Sorry. <laughs> no. Put your name down for them gurning competition. Oh, do you know, I've just remembered Mrs Braithwaite has booked a taxi for 12.30. Don't look at me, I'm not here. Oh, but she likes you. She asks after you all the time. I've had flipping chapter and verse on her wonky knees, her piles, <laughs> a dodgy undercarriage. Oh. Medical miracle, apparently. Well, I'm out of it. Tell Lloyd to do it. Tell him she's a very good tipper. 20p, come rain or shine. Well, that's to the big spenders. Hey, how'd it go? Uh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, they gave me a pamphlet. 
Watch our eyes in flipping the pamphlets. The importance of being vigilant. And what's that mean? Oh, well, if I get stressed or angry, I've got to walk away. You know, don't let it build up till I lose control. No, that makes sense. But there might be a complication. Mm, isn't there always? <laughs> I might not always spot the signs myself. OK, go on. You've got to keep an eye on me. If you see me getting stressed, you've got to say something. Well, I can do that. <laughs> Look, if you're done here, why don't we go back to the flat, get some lunch, watch the DVD? Yeah, great idea. Bit of relaxation, do us both the world a good, eh? <laughs> Should have stayed in bed, made a day of it. Oh, I wish. <laughs> Never mind, a couple of hours and you can be back all to yourself, can't you? <laughs> Did you see that? What? Liz just gave us a filthy look. Yeah. Well, she has got a bit of a face on her. No, she was glaring directly at us. I'm gonna have a word. No, no, don't worry about it. She's probably just fallen out with Michelle. You know what them two are like. But, uh... Babe, you can't let a crabby old bag like that bring you down on your birthday. It's against the law. <clears throat> Come on. Breathe oh. and lower your left leg and then your arm and then stand upright. <laughs> How is that in any way relaxing? <laughs> I know, it's like a new age twister, isn't it? Oh, do you know what? I think I might stick to my breathing exercises, all right? Oh, no, come on. We don't get much free time together. Just try and enjoy it, eh? You're right. You're brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, I am, Anna. <laughs> oh, here she is. Mount Almighty. What? What? Come here. Come here. So. Maybe you can explain to me why Liz barged into the gents last night and read the riot act. And then this morning, she's given me and Carla evil looks, right? And Carla is this close to walking across the road, asking her what her problem is. Right, is that what you want? Because I'm telling you, if this gets out, you're going to look just as bad as me. Well, no, because I'm single. You're the yeah, one all right, cheating. I'm married, but who's been cozying up to Carla? Huh? Who's her new best mate? Not quite as innocent in this yeah, well, as you I thought. I didn't think Liz was going to do that, did I? I don't understand. Why did you have to say something in the first place? Because I'm confused and I was upset. Hey, Roy. Good afternoon. Hope you're keeping an eye on that bag of yours. We don't want to go in walkabouts again, do we? Indeed. You give my love to Hayley. You're not me sick. You're so fake. <laughs> no, you know, you're a user. You don't care about me. All you're bothered about is protecting your marriage. I've never lied to you. You know, you know that I love Carla. Well, maybe I'm the lucky one in all this, and because I've seen you for what you are, and I get to walk away. One day, Carla will see you for what you're really like. Poor cow. Liz, have a word. I told you about me and Peter in confidence. Yeah. Yeah, and he's saying you gave him a right gob for last night. Serves him right. Where's treated you? He said you were standing in the middle of the street glaring at him and Carla. Do you want us to get found out? Oh, he knocks me sick. Him swanning round, all loved up with his wife. Not one ounce of shame. Look, he is fuming. And I can't say I blame it. He, he just had a real go at me. All right. That's it. I'll put him straight. Oh, God, will you stop it? This is you all over, innit? You weighed in, you gob off, Liz. I made a mistake. And I wish it'd just go away, but it, it's never gone to if you carry on stirring it. So, what are you going to say when Carla asks why you're glaring at her? I'll apologise. Say, so, yeah, I was in a bad mood. You better be convincing. Because she finds out because of you. All right. Hey, Pete. Yeah. Oh, you're all right, big man. I can go to the Red Wreck and play footy. Uh. Do what you like. Great. 
Uh, it's just a bit cold, isn't it? Go on, you, you, you go home to your mum and look after her. There's a good lad. Kylie. What, are you ignoring me now? You no, know, to me. Wait, you're not kicking off? It's not like you. Well, shout at me. Give me something. It's pointless, isn't it? Everything's pointless. Oh, it's Carla's birthday. Mm -hmm. You haven't got any candles, have you? You know, maybe jazz up a vanilla um, slice. Uh, yeah, I think we should have some in the drawer. Yeah, how much do you need? Oh, we don't need the full Monty. It's just a suggestion, like, you know. Mm. Perfect. Completely went over my head. I haven't got her anything. Oh, well, that to be in your shoes. She wipe the floor with you. Oh, well, she might very well do that. She's very lovely, but I wouldn't like to cross her. <laughs> I had a dream about her once. She had snakes instead of air, you know, like that Greek one. Uh, Carla has Medusa. A hilarious notion. <laughs> Roy's perfect woman, that, isn't it? Eh? Head full of reptiles. Well, uh, I, I would have liked to have been a herpetologist. Herpa, what, pardon? I'm oh, sorry, it's, it's a person who studies uh, reptiles and amphibians. You know, by rights, Roy, your head should be massive. You know, with all the facts you've got crammed in. His brain's like a toy, isn't it? Well, hello. I'm looking for Hayley Cropper. Guilty as charged. Hi. I'm Susie, the celebrant for your humanist funeral. Nice to meet you, Susie. No, um, I'm not sure our customers uh, want to hear the ins and outs of my last tour, all, so. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know how she can be so cheerful. I couldn't cope me planning my own funeral. Well, when my time comes, I don't want to fuss. Chuck me in the bin bag, throw me in a skip. <sighs> Unbreak my heart, Tony Braxton, that's what I'd have. Really? Followed by, um, Viva La Diva, Dana International. And then Judy Garland singing Over the Rainbow, you know, for the finale. Did they have a finale at a funeral? Anyone yeah, think you were gay? <laughs> What made him choose a Venus flying trap? Oh, we were watching one of them nature programmes on telly. Last night, he spent a whole hour trying to feed a money spider to it. Not one bite. <laughs> Maybe it's vegetarian. Mm. No, we looked it up on the internet. Apparently, it's dormant in the winter, kicks off in the spring. Mm. Something <laughs> to look forward to. Oh, to be honest, I think he would have preferred a dog, but I would have been the one who ended up looking after it, and I've got enough on my plate. That was really nice. I'll clear up these plates. Oh, sir, I'll do it. No, it's all right. You should be resting. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> you honestly thought... No, no, I, I didn't. I can uh, stay in if you like. Don't be daft. Well, I mean, Sally's only just doing a bit of a spread, you know, nibbles and such like. It's nothing that won't keep. Just go, I'll be fine. I won't be long anyway. Shall I do Max some tea before I go? No, honestly, I can do it. Mum, I'm bored. We come and play on the computer? Not now, Max. You promised. Mum? Will you stop pecking my head? You're mean. I hate you. Maybe I should uh, cancel, eh? You and me can have a nice, cosy little chat. Oh, for goodness sake, girl, please, will you just go? Don't push people away, Kylie. Why don't you let me help you, eh? I'll do anything I can. Can you make Max love me like he loves David? No, love. Can't do that. You can, though. All he asks from you is a bit of love and attention. So... Why don't you go upstairs, eh? Get all cosy with him and read him a book. Yeah, I will. Go on, you go. I'll be fine. I'll go up. <laughs> About time I stop feeling sorry for myself. All right. You know where I am if you need me. Yeah. Mm. Bye, love. I don't want 
want to be canonised. People have got this image of me as a right goody two-shoes. <laughs> OK, I'm happy to dispel the myth, but I'll need facts. She wouldn't harm a fly. Mm. Well, last year, May, I dropped a rasher of bacon on the cafe floor. Don't worry, this is going somewhere. And instead of putting it in the bin, I decided to save it for a certain customer. Goodness. <laughs> Tracy Barlow. Who else? <laughs> oh, no, it was petty and vindictive. And a health and safety issue. But when she sank her teeth into that bacon bar, oh, I felt like I'd won. <laughs> bit of a subversive then on the quiet. Only when I get a bee in my bonnet. <laughs> she wolfed it then. Good work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, in a funny way, I think I'll miss Tracy. Well, that's a sentence I never thought I'd say. You seem very accepting of death. She is remarkable. But don't be hard on yourself if that changes. I won't see the daffodils or the poppies, but I can still smell the roses. Hey, there'll be a lot more poppies this year, won't there, to commemorate the First World War? Yeah, the 100-year anniversary. Bits of lads, 17, 18, 19 years old. I've had nearly 50 years, 50. My poor friend Jane, she only had 45, and Princess Diana, she was 36. So you're finding it helpful to count your blessings? Yeah, very. And don't get me wrong, I have my moments. Poor me, why me? <laughs> but then I have other moments as well. Why not me? And in this short bread lovely and buttery. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Marge. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we'd rather go without, wouldn't we? We would. Mm. She's taking forever to put my contacts on here. Well, it serves you right for being so damp. You know what, you are so ungrateful. That cost me a fortune, that. Sorry, babe, she just did fiddly. No, it's not. It's because you've got fingers like sausages. What on earth have you got there? That is the wheel of life, if you please. Given to me by my life coach. You have not got a life coach. All right, it's my mate Bernard, but he's very qualified and he's very wise. Wears a lot of white. Okay. Right, score each area of your life out of ten. Relationships. Well, that's easy. A big fat zero. Career. Easy, not got one. Oh, uh, says you. Answering the phone in some grotty office, side of a cupboard. Finance. Well, you wedged, aren't you? I mean, you found 50p down the side of the couch. <laughs> hey! That could have had my eye out! Sorry. Don't be. You look great with an eye patch. <laughs> ah. Come on, cheer up, mate. Hey, you never know what's around the corner. That's what worries me, Jay boy Where's the big button? Well, I'm sorry I was a bit... I know you only meant well. Keep my nose out in future. I spoke to one of my friends who lives in London and she said I can go and stay with her. Good idea. Yeah. Get away from Peter. Just give yourself some time to think. Right, I'll rejig the rotor. I, how long do you think you're gonna need? No, sorry, I didn't mean that. I meant I meant stay down there. I'm not planning on coming back. Ever. me, larger than life and twice as ugly, as you used to say. <laughs> Not gonna invite me in. Well, what do you want? A cup of tea. Biscuit, if you've got one. I think you're overreacting. I mean, we're both really tense. There's bound to be misunderstandings. I saw the fear in your eyes. You're scared of me. I'm scared of what you might do. But they warned us, didn't they? Nobody said this was going to be easy. Yeah, well, that's an understatement. Nick, this is all part of your recovery. And, yeah, if I thought this might be forever, then I'd say it was time for us to separate, but it's not. We just need to talk things through. Say what? It's not his fault. It's the illness. He's going to be fine. Well, guess what? I'm not fine. 
And this can't go on. All right, so you're just going to walk away, are you? After everything we've been through? Look at yourself, Leanne. What? You love me? Yeah, I yeah, do. I believe you do. You're scared of me. Shifting, not having second thoughts, are we? Some people mellow over time. Not you, apparently. <sighs> Will you two quit it with the PDA? Stop rubbing my nose in it. Oh, shut up. You're miserable. We don't have to be. You are joking me. It's too late now. Good to see you, lad. Who's this? Glad you're OK. When I didn't hear from you at Christmas, I was worried. Who is it? It's me dad. Back in Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>